the government there faces a new kind of crisis, this time from rice farmers, which traditionally were the country's staunchest allies. Now, rice farmers in the country may now withdraw support as their crops haven't been paid in months now. Martin Lowe reports from Bangkok, Thailand, where he says bankruptcies and suicides for farmers are on the rise. How can I kill myself without pain? It was a question rice farmer Tongma Kaisuan often asked friends when they talked about debt caused by long overdue government payments. No one thought he was serious. Then his son-in-law saw him walk from his home outside the northeastern city of Roy Et carrying a rope. An hour later, he was found hanging in these trees. It's very hard to lose him. He took all the responsibility for growing our rice. He was an enthusiastic man, one of a kind in this village. It's believed at least three farmers have committed suicide, with many more bankrupt because the Thai government has run out of money to pay its controversial rice subsidy. Prime Minister Ying Luk Shenawat swept to power in 2011, promising to raise rural incomes, and has paid rice farmers 50% above the market price. But the government's been unable to sell the crop, and has given farmers money from state funds, infuriating city dwellers who've staged protests in the capital Bangkok for the past three months. Now those funds have run out. This farmer can't afford to send his children to school or pay his electricity bill. I'm very upset with the government. I would like to support them, but I want my rice payment. The Northeast is the government's heartland, and so far most farmers remain loyal, but no one knows for how much longer. In this district, farmers are not militant. They prefer compromise. But if someone steps forward to organize them, I just don't know. It's unpredictable. Nationally, opinion is hardening. And in a new setback, China has cancelled an order for a million tons of Thai rice amid allegations of corruption in the subsidy scheme. We may not support the government as before. You can see from the election on the 2nd of February that they have lost many votes. The government has abandoned the farmers, so we may abandon them. This former minister says losing farmers' support would be a disaster for the government. It could be extremely damaging to the government, to the, to the ruling party, um, uh, because you know, uh, uh, the number that they are, they are turning up could be huge. Um, there are over one million uh, farmers that are not paid. And you know, if, you, if you say each family has three or four family members, there could be a huge amount of, 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 of people that turn up into Bangkok. The rice subsidy, once the flagship policy of the Yingluck government, may have become its Achilles heel. The government's scrambling to raise money to pay farmers what they're owed, but it may be too late. It may already have begun to lose their trust. Martin Lowe, CCTV, Roy Et, Thailand.